this time of year, we're Christmas performers. Um, we've been doing this. This is probably close to 10 years now. 10, yeah, about 10 years. Um, started out with a friend of ours who asked if we would be willing to help out at a bakery and um, perform as Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Uh, Mrs. Claus has a theater background. Um, by contrast, I am a, uh, an accountant. Um, we started performing and as part of that, um, very early on, decided that if we were going to do this, we were going to have to uh, make sure we got a little bit of formal training. And since then, we've gone to maybe about four different schools on how to be a uh, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Well, there will be no in-person, on-the-lap visits, at least for us this year. Um, Santa does a lot of Skype calls, and he'll be doing even more of those this year. Our big main event is the Christmas tree lighting the day after Thanksgiving at Alderbrook Resort in Union. They are not holding the in-person tree lighting, but we're going to be going out there and we're going to be recording some video messages that they'll have available to explain why Santa and Mrs. Claus aren't there. And you know some other su surprises that they have up their their sleeves. Definitely miss the um, the tangible aspect of it. I mean, it's it is almost, and we've said this before. It's like being a rock star. When we step off of the yacht and come walking up uh, the at, at Alderbrook, and there's fireworks going on, and there's a drum line um, waiting for you at the end, and you're walking through all of these children and parents, and they're all, you know, wanting to high five, you know, Santa and Mrs. Claus. Um, you literally feel like a rock star. It's so nice at an event to have a, a child come up to you with a letter or a drawing or something they've, a little gift they've brought for you and say, I brought this for you. And, you know, we, we will definitely miss that this year. The magic is really in the, in the physical being, I think, quite often. Um, but there's a lot of magic that can be brought on the screen as well. One of the things that you can do when doing a Zoom call that you can't do when you're in person is when the person's walking up to you, um, that child, you don't know anything about that child. So everything that you say has to be very generic in nature. But when you're doing a Zoom call, you can actually prepare for that beforehand and make that very personal. I mean, it's um, a, a lot different when you're saying, ho, 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 Mrs. So-and-so, your teacher told us that you have been doing wonderful. Did you really get three A's this, this, um, this year? Oh, that is so good. Santa is very proud of you. When you can do that sort of thing, and the child is looking to the mother and saying, how does Santa know so much? It, um, it brings a different level of magic that you couldn't do on an in-person um, call. This is a very difficult time for everybody. And it's a time where um, being jolly, to bring that Christmas spirit, to, um, to bring that spirit of helping others, the spirit of community. It's a difficult thing when you're isolated to be able to do that, but in some respects, it's even more important, right? There's a lot of people right now that, unlike myself, that are able to work remotely are out of a job. And those kids are not gonna have, <laughs> Santa is also very sentimental. Um, they're not going to have the Christmas that they deserve, especially um, when they're being, you know, um, better behaved than they ever had to be historically, being home, having to be quiet, because often their parents are on, um, on phone calls and, and Zoom meetings. And, and so to it's not... Tough. It's tough to be a kid this year. It really is. And to... To not have that be a special Christmas would be tragic. I think the, the big fear that kids have this year is that Santa's going to forget about them. So the most important thing right now for Santa and, and by connection, Mrs. Claus, 
is making sure that we can get the message out to kids that Santa is still coming this year. Santa knows you, Santa remembers you. He's still he's still making that list and he still he still knows when you're sleeping and when you're behaving and and what you're doing and and how things are for you. So Santa is still here.